good morning friends this is a continuation of linear programming problem in operations research here we can solve the linear programming problem by graphical method before going to discuss the graphical method first we have to see the advantages of graphical method and the disadvantage of the graphical method in <coughs> LPP involving only two variables can be effectively effectively solved by graphical method. Reason is in graph sheet we have only two axes x, y, or we can give the name of x1, uh, comma x2. So whenever the problem comes with two variables only, we can solve by the graphical, which provides a pictorial representation of the problem and its so. So here in this graphical method we can find the, the region the exact place where the solutions exist that's we can say as a what pictorial representation this method is simple to understand and easy to use now in this method we can find out the multiple solution multiple solutions is more than one solutions unbounded solutions and infeasible solutions what is infeasible sir if the uh, infinite many number of solutions comes and the infinite solutions comes we can say it is what infeasible solutions get highlighted very clearly these are the four advantages we have in graphical method at the same time we have the disadvantage is disadvantage or we can call it as a limitations of graphical method the first one is in this graphical method we can solve only two variables involved that is the main disadvantage limitations in the graphical and each constraint is shown as a line on a graph how many constraints involved in the problem that constraints we are going to convert as a line in a graph that line helps us to form a boundary of the given problem so what are the lines are involved that law uh, that line helps us to find the solution a large number of lines makes the graph difficult to read if more constraints comes it's very difficult to what plot the points in the graph that's a, there's another disadvantage in the graphical method and working procedure what are the steps involved in the graphical method step one consider the inequality constraints as equalities that is if you're going to see the constraints that may comes less than or equal or greater than or equal whatever it comes uh, that you are going to convert as a equal and draw the straight lines in the x o y the x o y which indicates that first quadrant because what are the variables involved that variable should be what non-negative in lpp that's the reason we are going to consider only the first quadrant of the graph lines in the x o y plane corresponding to each equality and non-negative restrictions and step number two find the permissible region permissible means that the feasible region or you can call it another name of solution space or convex region solution space means where the solutions exist first we are going to find out the solution space by using the constraints and a convex convex means the set of points if you're going to join the two points that line which lies inside the region you can say that region is called convex region for the values of the variables which is the region bounded by the lines drawn by the above step i mean the step number one by using that you are going to plot the points the points you are going to find by from the constraints by plotting that you are getting one region that region only you can say as a what feasible region step number three find the points of intersection of the bounded lines by solving the equations of the corresponding lines Step number four, find the values of z, that in z indicates the what, the objective function. Find the values of z at all vertices of the permissible region. 
that vertices you are going to consider only the intersection points you are going to find that the intersection see that the step number three we mentioned find the points of the intersection that intersection points only you are going to consider that you are going to substitute in the objective function now step number five if for for example if it is a given problem is maximization is objective is maximization problem choose the vertex for which z is maximum uh, similarly here suppose that uh, the objective function is minimization choose the vertex for which z is minimum so in that way only you are going to find out that the objective function value and whose corresponding uh, vertex which gives that the maximum that you are going to consider the value of the variables the decision variables so uh, the if suppose objective function is minimum which gives a minimum value of z that corresponding what is uh, you are going to consider as a what the decision variables value so by using this procedure only you are going to solve the lpp by graphical method